Oh, thanks, man. That's where I left it. Jeez. Five, four, three, two, one. So Arcane Rising's right around the corner and you're not really sure what things you should be stocking up on. Let's say you're a new player or you know, you're just not entirely sure what could or might not be bad or whatever. But we'll start off with the new players. Of course, the, f the first few things you should be looking at to picking up is Sync Below's as they're currently one of the better cards for the meta. The Filter your hand out so you can use something during your own turn or you can just get rid of something like a potion from your hand. The second things I'd be looking at is probably both Red, Razor Reflex and Pummel. These are attack reactions so you can actually do something after you're attacking. Now these probably will only be great for the older heroes but you never know. If you want to be playing one of the older heroes during the new set, these are definitely cards that I'd recommend picking up. Next thing is if you don't have a set of Scar for Scar, it's definitely time to get a play set of them. These could be good. I can see a few leaders playing this next set. Maybe Brute or maybe Wizard as Wizard starts off with less health. Next off is one Remembrance. You don't need any more than one. Usually it's to just shuffle back all your really high powered cards. That's the main reason why everyone's been using it. Not for a defensive, but more for an offensive. Next card I'll be recommending is Time Snap Potion. And the only reason why is currently, it, there is no other way to gain more action points other than Time Snap Potion, currently. But it looks like Wizard will really need this card as they can probably just use their effects to banish the top card of your deck which could be Time Snap Potion that you gain to um, action points whenever you want. Next card is a bit of an iffy one, maybe something that I've been playing around with a bit um, and that is Red Drone of Brutality and the only reason why I'm recommending the red one not the blue one is because the blue one is good for basically nothing. Um, it's you know, uh, good for pitch value, but you, I, I wouldn't be using it for pitch value. The only reason why I'm using it is for Brute. Brute needs that constant six attack to keep discarding and all that, and that's probably my favorite one to use. And this is a card that I'm definitely recommending and something that I've stockpiled up on, kind of like all the Australians with toilet paper right now, um, which is Sigil of Solace. Wizard is dealing effect damage to you, so you're not so you don't have a way to kind of gain back that advantage other than either hitting him even harder or playing cards that you kind of don't want to be playing like that that new card that came out just right here next off are the mythics that i think should be at least being seeing a lot of play i'll start off with brute my favorite and the one that i'm recommending is blood rush below this is a card that's going to always be amazing. It is a basically one mana draw two and then intimidate your opponent and give your whatever weapon or next attack or all your attacks plus two attack. It's an amazing card and it's probably the only reason why I'm still playing Brute. I see so much potential in this card and if I were to say as far as value goes, I think it's the, the best main card deck that has been created so far. The next card is Crippling Crush. Yes, Guardian I still think will be amazing during next set. And one of the reasons why is a lot of people look like they may be switching over to more arcane blocks or arcane resistant cards. While Crippling Crush says if you deal four or more damage, they discard two for them. So kind of like what I was saying with Sigil of Solace, you you know it's probably one of the better generic cards as you can just heal three whenever crippling crush is that counter to that so it's going to be playing backwards on it and the next card i'd want to be looking at is steel blade supremacy steel blade supremacy with the same kind of mindset as crippling crush um you are you want to be dealing damage to your opponent now warrior currently i'm not entirely sure what everyone's playing with warrior um, but most people that I've been seeing have been playing the reprise version where they play the, the stinging steel blade, that card, to gain more advantage off like um, 
the the one that gives you zero for three attack it's pretty amazing and using that to gain most advantage but i feel like steel blade supremacy is probably going to be one of those cards you wouldn't be looking at in the future to pick uh, not to be really picking up on but it definitely could go up there and the last mythic i want to look at now look it's a bit of an odd choice yes enlightened strike is amazing but there's a lot of other cards that ha i have seen that could fill its spot if it wasn't for ninja now ninja uses this like no tomorrow brute ca can use it guardian can use it but i don't like it too much but the card i'm going to be saying you should be picking up is tome of Fiendle. it's a draw two of course you need to have action points for it draw two gain x health which is something that you could be using as you can kind of see the way i think this is going to be going during this set at least is the more health gain you have during in your main deck probably the better maybe i'm just too scared of arcane damage and killing me during my own turn where i'm trying to kill them so yes some odd cards i would be looking at to pick up bonehead barrier is the first one that comes to mind and the only reason is because of arcane damage but it can still see some play versing guardian or it can see some play versing ninja but it really just does feel like that really underdog card that might see a resurgence i can definitely see this doubling in price at least but the reason why we never played it is because it was never applicable you know having just three copies of it in your deck now versing wizard it's definitely an amazing card coupled with that new card that came out now if you're running six copies of a, of these cards in your deck if they want to go all out on you if you just have two of those copies in your card and you use one card to pitch for it that's value in my opinion let's say you just roll two on your bonehead barrier but on the other one you get like a, a neg four that's six damage that they can't deal damage to you for i definitely feel like that could be a great combo but we'll see how it goes i'm just recommending this card the next card yes blessing of deliverance it's just a card that heals and draws a card this is is a great card only because it heals and i know it's doubling back you know because you kind of have to play less three cost cards though i saw a lot of guardians still playing it currently if you don't have copies of it i recommend picking it up as it is a rare card and these could just get bought out by anyone and the last card i want to be looking at is flick flack mainly flick flack red the other ones maybe the yellow matters a little bit but there's one hero that kind of is maybe the most powerful that we've seen so far and that's including every hero which is dash now dash just looks like it just deals damage and gains go again but yes i'll stop the next big attack during the chain so if you're getting hit by a red throttle and then they want to hit you with another red throttle using flick flack on the first one would definitely be a great thing to use so that's it for the video um hopefully editing Yazi does a great job on this it's very late so i am very tired and i'm gonna go to bed i'll see you in the next video